Pooled licensing makes it possible to distribute the bandwidth between Citrix ADCs of different form factors and models. To start, we'll go to the System, Licenses, and Manage Licenses. Here we're going to add a new server, and we're going to choose Remote Licensing. Once we choose Remote Licensing, we have a selection of Pooled, CPU, and Seco, which is a form of rehosting your VPX. Next, enter the IP address of your ADM agent or server, and input the login information that ADM will use to manage the ADC device if we're talking about ADM software. Next, we can see on the Allocate License pages all the versions of licenses that are available. And in this case, I'm going to allocate or add two gigabits of premium to my VPX deployed in Azure. Next, we go to the, the pooled licensing page. And because this device is not yet managed, we're going to add the device for management in ADM service. Next, we'll here choose the uh, login information for the device. And then we'll choose the agent deployed to manage the device in that specific environment. When we're done with all the options, select OK. And now ADM can talk to the VPX instance running in Azure. We can filter the display of our instances if we're looking for something specific. And in this case, I'm just showing my different devices that are participating in pooled licensing for this demo. Next, now that we can see our devices is managed, we're going to go under the pool capacity premium pool and notice that we have the device listed as uh, with two gigabits allocated. Now we're going to go and change the allocation on a physical MPX device. Here we go, and we're going to use the ADM service direct interface. You can use the direct interface on the device as well to change the allocated capacity. Once that's done, you can go back to the licensing page in ADM and see the available bandwidth. We can now, now that we've returned some licensing, uh, say we've given some throughput or bandwidth back to the pool, we can add it to a VPX running elsewhere. In this case, perhaps I'm moving an application from on-prem to a deployment in the public cloud. Finally, we can take a look at the SDX. And with SDX, we can allocate the number of instances available to run on the device, as well as how much bandwidth is available within each software version that has pooled licenses available. In this case, I'm going to reduce the number of instances on the SDX and decrease some allocated bandwidth to the pool so that I can give it to an instance running elsewhere in my environment. Finally, we're going to show you real quick how the allocations look on an SDX SVM. The SVM allows you to allocate individual instances with the software version running, a software edition that's running, as well as how much bandwidth you want to assign each individual instance on that appliance. In this case, I'm going to change uh, a VPX instance from standard to premium, and I'm also going to increase the amount of throughput available to the device. Say, for example, I have an application that's ready to transition from testing and move to staging or production. Once this is done, notice that the device does need to reboot, and that is simply because I'm changing from standard to premium. Otherwise, a reboot is not required if all you're doing is changing the pooled license. With Citrix ADM, pooled licensing makes it possible for you to move your resources between virtual, physical, and hypervisor-based Citrix ADCs regardless of their form factor or physical location. And this allows you to more optimally manage your Citrix licenses and the cost of your operations.